explain the importance of enzymes to human digestion. Now, I want to talk about this eight mark question in terms of three different parts. First, we're going to talk about chemical breakdown. And what this means is we want to talk about how enzymes, they are chemically used to break down food from a complex molecule into simple molecules. Second thing we're going to talk about is features of enzymes and what particular needs they have in order to optimally um, um, uh, to be act to be optimally active. Thirdly, we're going to talk about examples. So let's talk about chemical breakdown first. Why does food need to be broken down first? Well, it's because that it needs to be small molecules so that it can be absorbed into the villi of the small intestine. And enzymes allow this chemical breakdown to occur. If there's chemical breakdown, however, there's also physical breakdown as well. And what physical breakdown means is the chewing of the food by the teeth, the mulching of the food by the stomach as it churns around. But it's not enough just to have this physical breakdown. The food molecules will simply still be too large. So the important thing to write down here, as we're going to do now, is that physical breakdown is not enough and chemical breakdown is also needed. Now we're going to move on to the next part, which is the different features of enzymes. And as always, when we ever talk about something with enzymes, we want to talk about their definition. What are enzymes? Well, enzymes are biological catalysts. They are things which speed up reaction but are naturally occurring within the body. And that's what we're going to write down next. So after this, so enzymes are biological catalysts of four word sentence which is uh, very succinct then the next sentence we're going to write is that it speeds up the breakdown of complex molecules into simpler molecules that's just the catalyst side of things and because of this it allows breakdown of the different uh, of the different food molecules that occur at body temperature because we all know one way of breaking down things is to heat it up that's why you cook your food your essentially breaking down the complex um, amino acids in a steak and you're turning it into um, simpler molecules as well. Next point, enzymes are specific for their substrate and this is important to mention because say for example amylase that's only going to break down maltose, it's not going to break down lactose for example, it's a separate enzyme for that. And that's what we're going to write down in our next point, that amylase breaks down carbohydrates. This is where we get on to talking about the different examples. So I want you to um, talk about the three different examples, one of breaking down of carbohydrates, one of breaking down proteins, and one of breaking down lipases, um, of breaking down lipids. So proteases, they break down proteins into amino acids and lipases they break down what do they start off and what do they end up at they start off as fats and they end up as glycerol and fatty acids so this is how i want you to approach this question